Hello, Brittany here from Orchard Corset and I'm here to show you how to lace up your new corset. So I have two corsets here and this first one I'm gonna show you is exactly how your new corset is gonna come. So it's completely laced up in the back, cinched nice and closed. Uh, it's got this great little X pattern that is going to be really helpful here in a little bit. Um, and it's all tied off in a big bow in the back. So it's really important when you go to put your new corset on that you fully loosen this corset. And um, what you're gonna, what you need to do uh, when you are loosening it is to allow yourself to wrap the corset around your body without putting any pressure or tension on the pins in the front. So you're gonna keep loosening it until it looks like this. So the, this may look really complicated, but I assure you corset laces are really just like uh, shoelaces or boot laces. It's just a lacing pattern to meet these little bunny ears in the middle. So I'm gonna check to make sure that this one can go all the way around me uh, without putting any tension on these front pins. Yep, and I totally can. So I have a mirror right over here and I really suggest that you also use a mirror for this. What I'm doing is just lining up those little hooks and pins. They can be a little tricky sometimes. Don't, don't force it, don't bend it. You may need to unclip the top to get the bottom or vice versa, and that's totally okay. Just don't bend those bones wonky. You really need them to stay flat, so a little bit of torque back and forth is okay, but definitely don't twist too far. So I'm just making sure that I'm even, um, you know, straight up and down my body with this uh, front busk here. And yeah, so first thing we do is we're going to pull this modesty panel. That's this flap of fabric that's underneath the laces. I just wanna tug it over and make sure that it's not bunched up under the laces because it's really uncomfortable when you're tying it for it to be all bunched up in the back. So now those X's. What I'm doing here is I'm gonna grab the X's that are on the outside of the laces. So there's actually X's on the top and then a back layer. You wanna grab the ones on the top. So you'll see now I have all this slack here and I can grab these bunny ears and it just tightened right up. I'm gonna pull this modesty panel just a little more. Now I'm gonna go down to the bottom. I went to the top, down to the bunny ears. Now I'm gonna go from the bottom down up to the bunny ears. Same thing. All right, that's feeling better. Still not, not pulling on it too hard, just kind of making sure that the smallest part of the corset, the waist tape, is also sitting in my natural waistline when I'm lacing it in. Now this is a brand new corset, so it's gonna probably flare a little bit on these ribs and hips for me, um, and that's okay. It's brand new, I haven't broken it in, so it's not gonna fit me super well right out of the package. What I do want though, is for these backbones to be nice and parallel. So I think the bottom needs to come in a little bit more. I have some kind of loose, loose string there. Lacing yourself into a corset is, is a lot of fidgeting <laughs> and just double checking that it's all correct. Your goal here is to have your laces be as parallel as possible, your modesty panel to be smoothed out, or if you prefer, you can simply cut yours out. Some people don't like them. Um, and for it to just feel the right tension. You don't want it to be too tight. Um, you don't want to have it tighter at the top or versus the bottom and definitely not too tight in at the waist versus other parts of the corset. My modesty panel kind of snuck out. There we go, I think that's better. Pretty good. All right, the first few times you do this, it's going to be awkward, I promise. But I also promise it's going to get much easier the more often you do it. If you have a Mirror really helps a lot. And also just making sure it's the right size. So I feel like it's pretty, pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is just tie it. It's not as hard as it sounds. We're just tying a simple bow. Just like we're tying our shoes. Just like that, except I unfold it out. 
It's really for dramatic effect. Okay, just like that. So then you're gonna have this little ponytail just hanging down your back, and that's totally okay. You can also kind of tuck that little ponytail up into those laces, and you can hide your laces a little bit easier. The other way you can tie this off, our customers actually taught us this one, is, so now they're just hanging down again. We're going to cross. Now this is the bunny ear from this side. And I'm going to put it underneath this bottom portion of the corset and kind of tuck it up under here. And the same thing. Again, this is the, the bunny ear from this side of my body. So the neat thing about this lacing technique is you don't end up with that tail hanging down. So you can hide your corset a little bit easier under your clothes and it's a lot easier to get it out of this versus having to untie the laces, you know, behind your back. You simply do that. Um, so this can often be a quicker corset lacing technique for those that maybe they waste train all day and they need to adjust it or just something like that. Fix this really quick. So the one thing though we don't want you to do is we do not want you to wrap your laces and tie them off right at the waistline. So this is perfectly fine. What I've done in the back is I've crisscrossed those laces so those backbones stay nice and flat. What we don't want you to do though is what I'm gonna show you right here. Is where you just cross it and you tie it off. This is a corset no-no. What this is gonna do is it's going to damage this outer fabric. You're putting way too much pressure right here on the waistline and it's gonna kind of eat away at this pretty fashion fabric. Your corset's not gonna last as long and you're not gonna love it as long. So it seems really easy to do it like that, but we think that any of the other options are much better. <laughs> so we hope that you found that really helpful and we hope to see you again next time. Thank you so much, take care, bye-bye.